It is Monday, April the 11th. It's about 10.25 in the morning. Now, I'm about to call the BC Law Society and make a complaint about this Greer Jacks who refuses to call me back. So let's see the kind of service. Let's can you see the level of intelligence if I'm going to get on the phone here. They've never helped me before, BC Law Society, public servants. British Columbia, we are the regulators of lawyers in BC. If you know the four-digit extension of the person you wish to reach, you may enter it at any time or listen to the following options. To access our staff directory, press 1. If you need a referral to a lawyer, press 2. For hours of operation, address, and other contact information, press 3. If you are calling to file a complaint about a lawyer or for other inquiries, please press 0 or stay on the line and the Wait while I transfer your call. I speaking with? This is the switchboard. How can I help you? I need to um, file some complaints against some BC lawyers. Okay. So our professional regulations department is the one that specifies our complaints. Um, I can direct you to them. So please keep in mind though it is a voicemail at first. So leave your name and your number and a brief description of the issue and someone will contact you. When? It's urgent. Uh, I, I don't have a time frame. Unfortunately, I don't work for the department. So you can't switch me over to an actual individual? Uh, no, this is, this is protocol. Oh, it's protocol. Lovely. Okay, well, put me through. You've reached the Professional Regulation Department at the Law Society of BC. If you're calling to make a complaint about a lawyer, please note all complaints must be in writing. You can go to our website, lawsociety.bc. Oh, they want it in writing. To find out what types of complaints we can investigate and to find a complaint form. Well, I get paid to do paperwork. Like to speak to someone, stay on the line to leave a message, and we will call you back shortly. Our goal is to respond to your call the same day or the next business day. Right. Thank you. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. My name is Victoria Nevins, and I uh, reside in Victoria, British Columbia. Today I'm calling to complain about Greer Jacks from Chris Harmon, who refuses to call me back. And he has to call me back because his client is in possession of my stolen property. I also have a number of complaints against the criminals who are acting as Fulton and Company in Kamloops, B.C., and indictable crime committing criminals acting as Cox, Taylor, and Victoria, B.C. So you want these, you want these complaints in writing? Well, perhaps we can have an intelligent conversation with each other. Is that possible? Because Greer Jacks needs to call me back. I've asked him repeatedly for some information he's refusing to provide. Now, do lawyers in B.C. understand that they're not above the law? Because I've yet to meet one who believes that. So these are serious crimes. These are acts of genocide. You don't get to steal my house, my interest, private property, and embezzle all the money. And that's what B.C. bar members have done to me and my family. So we're going to have to talk about this, aren't we? Because these lawyers are going to end up in jail because they're not above the law. Do we understand each other? You can call me back at 250-661-0610. You've also received written complaints from me constantly through email, and you refuse to do anything about it. Why would that be? Are you refusing to serve me? Because that's pretty much what's going on. You're refusing to serve me. You lie about what they do to me. I've got letters from you, lying, covering for them. Why would you do that? So you're covering for criminals, are you? Well, this isn't a good idea, is it? Right, so when you call me back, I'm going to need your full name, just in case you decide to break any laws, because I won't allow that to be happening. Again, my name is Victoria D. Would you all know who I am? My callback number is 250 so you mean to me, what a joke, right? Like, how much fucking time am I going to have wasted now by this apparent public service that actually covers for these fucking animals? 
These fucking animals have stolen my son, sold him for profit, left me empty-handed. Now these fucking pukes have come and stolen my private interest property and bezzled all the fucking money, leaving me fucking homeless and destitute, forced into prostitution on purpose. Uh, the, the, whatever it is acting as BC Law Society is fully aware of all these crimes and yet have done nothing to stop it. You haven't even called the police. And yet you've known this has been going on for years. Wow. What a joke. What a typical, average, everyday public service agency that does absolutely nothing for those who actually need service.